Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Asian Magic video and in today's video we are going to be versing the Dreverard node in Raid 6. It is a fairly difficult node due to the fact that when you get to that last wave, there is a full team of quite powerful enemies fighting you. It's Dreverard with the Children of the Forest and they can wipe you out quite quickly. So that is the node we are going to be versing and we're going to be using the Dragonkin with a Trauren. The idea is that we're going to get that Trauren stacking up that stone rain every wave until the very end and we are going to blast the enemy. We're using this team at max level, gear and five arcane stars. Though difficult, five arcane stars is not impossible to obtain if you're working on a hero. I know it's still difficult but it's better than gold stars, so I'm going to show you it is possible. You can do with lower. It's probably not going to be as successful, but we'll show you how it works. Then we'll jump in and try them all at seven arcane stars and see the difference. But this is the team we're going to be using. And yeah, there is a lot of healing, and that is the idea. We are not using Troran's Stone of Rain the entire battle until the very end. So you have to play this battle on manual. You cannot auto it. So we'll jump in. I'll show you what you need to do and how it works. So jumping into battle, we can use Troran's other ability, just not using his second special. We're going to go ahead and take out Colonel first because he is going to go and hide everyone on the team. So there's no point attacking anyone else just yet. Get our defenses up. Obviously play on four times speed. That is going to be super important. And just try your hardest to hold off on that stone rain. As you can see, he's already at 16 stacks, doing pretty well. We're going to heal up our guys because we can and we're going to take out Colonel. Beautiful and move on to Cathbad next. Take him out. He'll get a nice little heal out. We should be able to finish him off quite quickly. Beautiful. Move on to the Ilios. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Work on whoever you want at this point. I am going to go for Ilios just because why not? Our whole team except for our Karana is merely so these... Guys aren't going to really be an issue to us. As you can see, making quick work of everyone. Beautiful. Guitar taking a little bit of a beating. That's all right. What are we sitting on? 24 stacks already. Uh, who do we want to go for here? This wave has no healing. So we're going to go ahead and lock down that Tyros. And we're going to try and take him out quite quickly. We'll heal our guys up. Tyros is out of the picture. Beautiful. Get a, a little defensive shield. Boost our speed. It's hard, quite hard trying not to use any of your um, Chorin Stone of Rain when it's readily available. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take out Aegon here. We're going to use our Resurrect to top off our Karana. We do not want her dying at all. All right, moving into the next wave. All right, what are we going to do? Who do we want to take out? We do want to take out Tiliana. She does do a lot of damage. But remember, we've got two and a half minutes at this point. We can let this battle go on for a little bit longer so we get a lot of healing out. So remember, every time these guys critically strike, a healing, healing is done and you will get a stat. There you go, up to 30 stacks. Up to 33 stacks. Uh, let's put our defenses up. I've got a little bit of time to waste, so not in a super duper rush. Just keep everyone's HP a little bit low. Since um, that way they can heal and you can get a stat. So I'm going to go back to Sindarial. I actually do want to take out Sindaro. Or can we move on to Tiliana yet? Nope, she's still untargetable for some reason. All right, now she is... Actually, she's not targetable. That's a... I'm sure that's a bug on this server, but that's okay. We're going to leave her up until it lets us auto-target her. This obviously isn't going to happen in the real game. All right, now we're going to start working on taking out some of these characters we're at 60 stacks at the moment let's take out the tiliana use our resurrect to get everyone's hp back up get our shields up take out tilly 
Don't really want to lose Qatar here, but they are really wailing on him, aren't they? We've got one more turn until we can heal him. If we can take out... Beautiful. All right, well, they're both hidden. I still have a minute. Let's go ahead and work on... Maglin for a second here. Okay, heal up. Just try and get him up to as many stacks. Alright, we've got 47 seconds here. We should be able to finish off this wave now. One turn, two. Alright, we're moving into the final wave with 34 seconds. Let's go ahead and just do some damage on the Lucky. Get our speed up. Use an AoE. And now use Stone Rain. Let's see what happens. There we go. We take out all the damage dealers. All the painful characters to deal with. And we've got 16 seconds. We're going to put it on auto. We may not be able to finish the wave. But remember, I was talking a lot in this. So, wasted a bit of time. Can we finish it? Seven seconds. Oh, come on, guys. Two seconds. One second. Got up with one second left. But as you go, there you go. As you can see, they take out the whole front force of the Dreverard, the characters that are healing, locking you down, doing a ton of damage. And so they're going to get rid of that taunt. When Dreverard taunts, it's a big pain in the ass because you can't kill that lucky. You can't get rid of that tricky. It is a lot going on. So just removing all that, all those issues in one wave, in one hit, perfect. Sets you up for a win. You can put it on auto. I've got done one second left. Beautiful. All right, we'll pump these guys up to seven Arcane Stars and see if it's any different. Obviously, it's going to be a lot easier, but we can see it, so we're going to. Okay, jumping into battle. These are all at seven Arcane Stars now. And to be honest, I don't know if this is going to work as well as when they were low Arcane Stars. Because we kind of want the waves to last so we can build up those stats. As you can see, that heals out. All right, we're at 11 stacks, which is pretty good. I'm actually just going to use my auto attacks here. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to try and build up my stacks on this wave. This wave seems to be the easiest. If I can take out that... Okay, we'll move on to the Mirrodin next. That way he can be resurrected by the Cathbad. Yeah, we're taking him out quite quickly. We're going to use our Resurrect, keep everyone topped up. Actually praying that my Dracona doesn't critically strike. Alright, we'll move over. Try and spread out the damage. Heal here. Uh, use a... Yeah. Try not to kill Cathbad. Uh, inevitable. How many stacks did we get? 23. Okay, this way we just want to kill as fast as possible. So we're going to go ahead and try and lock that Tyros. Use our AoE. This is where we should probably be saving time on this wave here. Try and kill everything as fast as possible. And then move on to the next wave. Because there's no healing on this wave. So you just get out of this wave as fast as possible. Alright, we're going to go ahead and attack. Now, mate, beautiful. Alright, move on to the next wave. Now, this is where we're going to stall. Try and get up our healing. So we're going to go ahead and take out... Tiliana. I know she's going to die, but she'll be resurrected by the Gloriana. Yep, beautiful. Okay, try and knock down some HP on it, everyone. That way, if everyone heals, we boost our stack rate up way quicker than normal. If they're missing HP, they'll be able to heal. Okay, uh, let's move back to... Oh, we can only attack... Sandy, unfortunately. Alright, she resurrected there. Beautiful at 37 stacks. Got two and a half minutes on the time. We're going to go ahead and attack that Argon. He hid. Beautiful. Going to go ahead and attack. Alright, we're at 43 stacks. Going to use my AoE. That way the Gloriana is going to now stop resurrecting people because she's not at full HP. At 43 stacks. Should be able to use my Resurrect, top everyone back up. Going to go ahead and attack the Maeglin. At 45 stacks. Alright. All 
All right, we're at 45 stacks. I actually don't know if this is going to be enough or not. We'll find out in a moment. We're going to heal our characters. We're going to go ahead and... If, you know, worst comes to worst, I want the lucky to die. So we're going to go ahead and use our... Ah, oh, the tricky survives. What do you know? It's all right. We can go ahead and kill with our... Dracona there. So 45 stacks at 7 arcane stars. Character completely maxed out and only just kills everyone. So, yeah, you can see it actually works better if you're not stronger. Or if you can find a way. Actually, there were a lot of times I never used Dracona's um, defensive ability in that fight. So, if I used that, then I would have been wasting another turn. Because he probably hits the hardest. His basic attack is almost a special ability. It just does so much damage. So, trying to work around that. And we actually lose a hero in this one. I'm not going to be able to resurrect. But still done in one attempt. Cleared it in one go. Probably could have worked around things a little bit better. Knowing that I'm a bit stronger in this one. Used Dracona's defensive ability every time it was up to waste a bit of time. Not doing any damage on the enemy. Because he's almost one-shotting some people there. So, yeah. That's probably how I could do a workaround. And just try to get into that stage with at least 50 plus stacks. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.